G'day there and welcome to the online launch of the Aston Martin DBX here in New Zealand. This is it under the covers. I've been waiting for this moment for 303 days in fact, because that's how long it's been since I first saw a DBX. It was a pre-production model, it was in a little dark room in the middle of Tokyo. We weren't allowed to start the engine or drive it, in fact we couldn't take photos or video. In fact, I realise there, there is no proof that I was actually there, but I was. In fact, to help me prove it, I, I wasn't alone, you see, because with me was Steve Fox, the brand manager of Aston Martin Auckland. Conveniently, Steve is with us now. Hey, Sean. Can't shake hands, Steve. We're going to keep social distance, but it's all about this car. You it were there that day. Yeah. Yes, I was. What do you remember about the DBX? First impressions. First impressions. Uh, for me, uh, the moment the cloth was pulled back, um, I think it was just how pointed, how low, how agile. Um, but for me, top marks, the, the grill. The grill took all the elements for me. Uh, the, the, the biggest grill on an Aston Martin yet today. Yeah, it's just quite cruel, isn't it? We, can we just take the covers off, Steve? Yes. Been Sorry. dying for this moment. You know, 2020 has been a hard year, hasn't it? And uh, the DBX has really felt that, the timing of the launch of this car. But there it is, the Aston Martin DBX. I'm going to stand back. Look at it. You know, you've seen a whole lot of photos, but to actually see this car, to touch it, know it's in New Zealand, and this car is also drivable. And I'm going to be driving it tomorrow, and we will share that video with you. Somebody who's already driven it is Steve, because you had to get it ready for the launch. I did, yeah, yes I did. What was it like to finally get behind the wheel? Oh, it was just, a, a, for me, um, a, a big moment. It was, um, yeah, a smile from ear to ear. It was just incredible. Um, from the moment you uh, jumped into the seat, hands behind the steering wheel, uh, yeah, smile to we talked a lot about uh, over the years about you know should Aston Martin build an SUV should they not it's, it's a big step for the company and um, we'll get into some of the technical sides of it but the big thing about an Aston Martin is they have to be beautiful oh they do yeah I genuinely think they've pulled it off I think Marek and his team and in, in the design studios from yeah from five years ago from when we first saw it in the drawing uh, through clay modeling yeah, and, and the finished item they, they've done a fantastic job you, you love some touches around the front, don't you? For, for me, yeah, I, I just think, obviously, it, it's, in, it's, it's DNA, um, the, the DB grill, um, it's so wide, it's so staunch. Um, we've got some unique features with the daylight running lights down here um, that double act as air intakes, um, taking some of that negative pressure through the wheel arch and, and cooling. And they look cool as well. Oh, they do, they, oh, they do. I, I've done some study, Steve, you'll be impressed. Biggest Aston Martin badge ever fitted. Yes. And also, this is the biggest grill. Fantastic, yeah. no, it's, um, they, they, they've, um, they've done well. Yeah, now you like that end. I want to show you what I like. Sure. Right. We walk around the car and we'll talk about a few things as we walk around this car, but you notice it's quite low for an SUV. And that's all to do with uh, uh, the, the fact that this car is bespoke, the, the platform, but more than that in a moment. But I like this here, the tail, because this is straight from the V8 Vantage. This oh, yeah. Beautiful. Just straight through, straight through, through and through. Beautiful. And then. Obviously, you've got the, the, this carbon, which is an option around the back here, but it does look amazing. And those pipes mean this car means business. Oh, it does, does. It does. It certainly does. It's, it's a stunning back end. And uh, as you say, optional extra um, rear exterior carbon fiber pack. I look through the, the, the book at 35 different options of colors and surfaces and everything. More on that in a moment. But, and then you can go to Q and they can do whatever you like. Whatever you like, Sean. O options are endless there. Hey, let's talk about nitty gritty because. Um, Underneath every car is the platform, if you like, a skateboard, and, and a lot of different cars share those platforms amongst different models. Uh, Aston Martin didn't do that. They couldn't do that with this car. We could, no. We, we knew that was a, a vital stage in the, in the production, uh, right from design. So we're not bound by anything. Uh, we've got a new, new state-of-the-art aluminium architecture. Um, we're pushing boundaries to the, to the elements effectively. So we're not, rear occupant space is very important. Um, but yeah, versatility, um, a, a vehicle for lifestyle. Lots of big words he's using there. What he means is they could push the wheels right out. They didn't have to fit the silhouette of any other car. Look, I'll show you the result. I'm, I'm just over six foot. Steve's quite a bit taller. What are you, 6'3"? Six, 6'3", three? Six, three, sure. Yeah, you're 6'3". Right so I'm going to jump in. There we go. Now I'm there. Plenty of room. I could probably put the seat back a little bit more if I wanted. But Steve, do you want to jump in and let's see how you go on the back? We didn't even test this out first. <laughs> As you can see, plenty of headroom um, and, and both legroom. Um, very, very roomy. So it worked out. Hey, just sitting in here too, for you in the bit, this means I'm like your chauffeur, just on the wrong side. I could get used to this, Sean. Um, every car comes standard with the glass roof. Sure, yep. And in New Zealand, we get the Alcantara, this hood, hood curtain. Correct, yep. Which, this is a world first. They've worked out a way for it to sort of roll up. Correct, yeah. Wow. 
yeah, so st standard fitment for the, for the panoramic glass roof fits, and it's a, a, a huge glass roof at that. Just fantastic. This is really nice inside, and you can- They've done a great job. Feel a whole lot of the, the Aston Martin. Just about Aston Martin too, uh, that every surface in an Aston Martin is what it looks like. So if it looks like metal, it is whatever metal it looks like. They don't fake anything. And of course they're hand built in Wales too, Steve. They are indeed, yeah, a new purpose built factory um, out in St. Athen, Wales. Now amongst all these flash lights uh, is, is of course Aston Martin's trademark uh, gear shift buttons. Yes, glass, glassware. Yes, and uh, nine speed auto. Correct, yeah. Fantastic, let's talk more about the nitty gritty drivetrain jumping out. Oh, that reminds me too. These doors, the way they wrap around underneath the, the sills, doesn't just look cool and make it getting in and out really easy. Very easy, yeah, yeah, so uh, very clever. Because this car can go off-road, there's uh, close to four inches, 95 millimetres of height up and down. I don't know what the proper word is for that, articulation? Oh, articulation, so, yeah, yeah, we go. yeah. I can't spell that word, let alone say it. Um, but it also means the way these doors wrap round, when you've been in the mucky stuff and you get out, yes, yeah. pants stay clean. Um, look too, the doors, uh, frameless, double glazed glass as well, and those very cool Aston Martin door handles. But Steve, let's look at the grunt, because right. I do love the numbers, you know that. 550 brake horsepower of AMG turbocharged 4 litre V8. Whoosh! That's oh, yes. good. Yeah, yes. Yeah, one thing you do notice, Steve, is how far back this engine sits in the bay here. Yeah, the engineers have done a fantastic job there, um, and that's one of the crucial points of getting near 50-50 weight distribution. Um, that's unusual, isn't it, for an SUV? It is indeed, yep, um, which may I add it's best in class. You're welcome to add that. You quite liked adding that, didn't you? I did indeed. But, but this car had to feel like a sports car, didn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's through, through and through. It's putting the S in, in an SUV. Now, not only is there less weight over the front, it's more balanced, but this, this car loves to send its drive to the back. In fact, most of the time you're driving, it is like a sports car, all the drives to the rear wheels. Correct. When you need it, up to 40% can come forward. Certainly, yeah. Get you out of trouble. Yes. When should you, you get in should it? Should you need it. Well, we know there's AMG magic at work here, but Aston Martin, do some work on the engine. It says it on here, hand built in Wales. If it comes from Wales, this has to be able to sing. Can we hear the DBX? We certainly can, sure. Clear the lungs. I'll shut the bonnet for you, Steve. I cannot wait to hear this. Oh, it is. Bit of a back. I've noticed, Steve, not only are you um, grinning and making lots of noise, but also you've put the car into the terrain mode. Sure. This car can seriously handle off-road, which oh, he's told me I'm not allowed to do when I take it for a drive. But um, with 48 volt uh, electric roll bars, it means it can completely disconnect. So you've got all the articulation. Correct. See, I use that big word again. Um, and obviously the air suspension works, roll bars, six different? Six different individual, individual modes, depending on what you need. They're all on demand, um, whether it be four wheel driving or uh, access. Or Sport Plus. Or Sport Plus. Yes, or Sport, which makes the best noise, we discovered. So now you're at the full height. Let's drop it down. And I've got to say, it actually goes quite quickly because sometimes these cars take a while. 410 millimeter front discs. We talk about how fast this car can go and it's about four and a half seconds to 100, but it can stop incredibly quickly. Very, very quick. Um, I've seen about 45 meters, I think, I saw a stop from, from 70 mile an hour in one road review, it's just amazing. So there we go, you've dropped back down there. This, now what setting's this? We're in Sport Plus. Sport Plus. Just brilliance. You don't want to get out of there, I do don't, you? Sean. I don't. Okay, you've had your fun. Engine off. Right. Um, one thing I noticed there are all the lights on, on the dash and whatnot. There are a huge amount of safety, active safety in this car, isn't there? Oh, vitally important. Um, right from the get-go. So um, safety features all come standard. You, you've got the likes of uh, lane change departure, lane change, uh, blind spot monitoring assist, and adaptive cruise control. Basically, this car will stop itself from hitting things. And Steve mentioned also, which is important, is, is standard. There is a huge amount of 
standard equipment on this car and uh, what's the price stat at? I've got to ask you that. 330,000 plus customization. Right. And we talked about the customization, you can do all sorts, but there is a lot you get, including the air suspension, uh, the 48 volt active roll bars, and that awesome 550 horsepower engine. And the good news is, uh, it's now for anyone to come and see. You really need to see this car in the flesh to really appreciate it, I genuinely mean that. And uh, you, you've got it in the window? We have, we have indeed. Right, it's all on. Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. Man, finally, 303 days.